Paralegal Guide to Using PDFs in the Office. This is exercise number nine, creating searchable PDFs. Sometimes you receive a PDF file that is an image instead of an actual document. When this is the case, you cannot search the document. And in order for the search function to work, you have to make the document searchable. And as you can see, I have already opened up the file that we were supposed to download for exercise number eight. So what I want to do now is click the find field, edit, come up to edit, come down to find, click on find, and I want to type in the word lease, capital L-E-A-S-E, -E, all caps, click on next. Now, when I do this, this is a, just a verification that this document cannot be searched. Uh, it's not a searchable document because, as you can see, we have lease in, uh, in several areas of the document, but the application is not able to find it. So, because of this problem here, we're going to make it searchable. So, I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to close my search field, close my find field. And now I am about making the document searchable. I'm going to click on tools here, click on tools. I am going to come down to text, scroll all the way down to text to I find text recognition, set the bottom under text recognition. I'm going to click on in this file. I'm verifying that I have the current page. That's what I'm looking at right now. And I want to make sure that my PDF, my DPI is going to be 300. If it's not 300, I can click on edit and just verify that my down sample is 300 DPI. And I'm going to click on OK. Click on OK again. And as you can see, now the document, uh, Adobe Acrobat is actually making the document searchable. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to save this file since it is searchable. Save the file using my initials to indicate this is my file. Click on the Save button. And then I want to go back to either edit or find, or I can click on, I can do control F, and that's the find mode as well. And I still have list, lease in the find field. I'm going to click on next. And as you can see, if I click on next, it goes down into the document where that word appears. There it goes again, again, again until it's not any more of those words, then I have now made my document searchable. Okay? Now, what I want to do again is put my name in my header and my footer. So I want to, want to go to uh, Pages, click on Pages, come down to Header and Footer, Add Header and Footer, Come down to the upper right hand corner where it says left header text. Type in my name. Click on OK. And as you see, my name is in the document. And you can print off your document and turn it into your instructor. That's it.